Okay. Hey everybody, this is Chief here, and starting a new episode uh, series tonight, and it's called Full Speed Docker. And um, tonight, the first episode, we're going to get started with Docker Swarm, and going to be running some services and even giving uh, a product called Shipyard a shot. So let's see what we got. Um, this over I'm start by seeing what version of docker I have installed okay I have to get update. And let's start start up some music while I'm waiting. Testing, testing. Testing. That's a bit better. Okay, um, so let's see, what I really want to do is test out Swarm Mode, and Swarm Mode works best across multiple machines, so there's two options that I have for that, and both of them I think are going to use Vagrant. Um, I could do a Vagrant multi-VM and stand up multiple uh, virtual machines on my local box, or I can use... Uh, see if I can find it. Digital Ocean Provisioner Provider.
Okay. So let's do a vagrant plugin install vagrant digital ocean. So one of the reasons I like DigitalOcean um, is this new feature called Volumes. And I can have block storage volumes and mount those as a volume group across multiple droplets. And that will come in extremely handy for Docker, especially in swarm mode. Or so I hope. We'll find out. So let's do this. Uh, code... And let's go out and make a repo for this.
Oh. Oh yeah, duh. Get rid of all this extra vagrant dock stuff. So we do not need that. First, let's make sure we can config.vm.hostname. Let's not set this. We'll do config.vm.define. We'll call this leader. So I'm going to set up a multi VM here.
there's my pizza.
I'm creating the secret token file now.
Let's see here, full speed docker. Dio images. Okay. So I ran this uh, image list just to give you an idea here so here are all the different images we can use once we are going to use 1604 Oh cool, Ubuntu drone. 0.4, I might have to check that out next time. Drone is a Docker based uh, continuous integration system. Wow, this plugin is really neat. Let's try to figure it up this.
I specified an invalid image. Really. Ah, 16 dash 04. All right, well, let's do the same thing. We'll call it image sizes. We'll create an image sizes uh, file. Okay, so the slug has to be one gigabyte. Whoa, there we go. We are cooking with fire. And pizza. Look at that. I think I'm in love. I have a feeling I'm going to be contributing to this, so let's, let's fork that. <laughs> this is awesome.
Okay, so what does this mean and where are we at? If you go to Hacker Happy Hour on GitHub and go to the full speed Docker repository, clone down this repo and CD into the Swarm Services Shipyard project, which is uh, the folder we're going to use for this episode, and create a secrets.yml file, paste your token in for DigitalOcean, and then do vagrant up um, provider equals digital underscore ocean, and you will spin up a digital ocean droplet right from Vagrant locally. Now, step two. Let's hang on to this. I'm going to pin it over here. Is going to create actually, I'm going to I'm going to move that secrets.yml file one folder out. That way I can reuse it. And let's update the readme here too. <coughs> let's add uh, getting started. Okay.
Let's shut down that droplet. <clears throat> and let's do this. Um, actually, want to do that from here and do this from here. Let's do config.vm.define. Uh, we'll call it worker A. And say A. All right, we're going to create now three droplets. And our next step after we do this will be to provision Docker onto these machines. Now let's give it a shot. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my link changed.
<clears throat> okay, so let's go back to Docker or uh, DigitalOcean. And if we're lucky, we should have three droplets. Ha ha ha! Check that out. This is pretty cool. Okay. Now for installing Docker. Get to the good part. I'm going to come back up to our main directory here. And I'm going to create a dot provision directory. And dot provision scripts. And we'll save him. some reason my system clipboard isn't working lately and it's driving me nuts
Okay. So, what I have here This is just uh basically what it's going to take to Let's actually change this a little bit. Scripts install docker. We don't need that there. That should do it. Now let's open our swarm services shipyard vagrant file and we'll do config.vm.provision shell and we'll do a path Scripts install docker.sh and privileged. It's true. Okay, so because that this isn't defined in a specific machine, so notice how. I have config.vm.define and it's b. I could come down here and say b.vm.provision, but I don't need to do that. This will install Docker on all of them since it is uh, defined at the global level. So let's do vagrant. Uh, actually, come over here. City swarm services shipyard, and we'll say vagrant reload. Provision with shell. So this could take a minute or two it's going to install this uh, across all three droplets. <clears throat> Oops. Rookie mistake. Okay, so let's see, what should we do while we're installing this? Let's take a look at Shipyard. Uh oh. Hmm. 
looks like these servers might already have Docker installed. Or at least have the packages configured. So I'm going to come over here and check that because at this point I can SSH into the leader. It's not there, which I didn't expect it to be, but... have to update the script to make sure that it is doing the experimental install instead of the stable So, this could cause a few issues, um, because this script could be run, but it's not meant to be run on the same machine that you would have done uh, an apt-get install. It could cause some issues. <clears throat> so, let's destroy these machines, switch up this script...
actually, I think I do want to commit that just in case. Uh, so we'll say. Install Docker using app get and we'll get tag this as version app get docker get push origin Okay, so now what I want to do is stop provision scripts install docker curl should be installed actually I'm, I'm positive it is so I'm just gonna leave that out of there I could put in a check for it but uh, I don't really feel like it so let's delete all this and we'll say apt get no nope, we'll just do this curl dash s sl https experimental docker.com okay so for this project we need uh, the docker experimental features of 1.12 so swarm uh, becomes native it's no longer a separate package and it's part of docker itself there's also several features like um, the ability to restart or run docker containers even if the daemon's not running and so that gives you the ability to upgrade containers um, upgrade even the docker daemon while your containers are running which is pretty cool let's do vagrant uh, CD swarm. We'll say vagrant up provider. Uh, digital option. What's cool is since this isn't um, like if you're using VirtualBox, it doesn't support parallelization on most uh, platforms, but obviously an API does. So we can be creating these machines as we go. And you see that it just created these three IPs, which is freaking awesome. I can't get over how cool this is. So you see here that um, worker A and leader are both running at the same time. And they're running the um, install of experimental Docker.
Okay. So, all three of these are good to go. So let's say Vagrant, SSH, Leader. Pseudo Docker version. 1120RC5. Awesome. And that means that Docker Swarm in it. I really should do a private network. Um, I'll worry about that later. Actually, I might have to worry about it sooner than I want to, but... <clears throat> Let's say Vagrant. City Swarm Vagrant SSH Worker One Worker A Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point is um, stop the stream. So I think I'm actually getting some poor quality, not stream, but text. And I can do something to clear that up. So I'm going to call this part one. Um, I actually might take a break here and get back on a little bit. And for part two, hopefully everything will be a bit clearer for you. Um, hope you enjoyed so far. You can grab the code at github.com slash hacker happy hour slash full speed docker. And there's dashes in between full and uh, full speed and docker. So full dash speed dash docker.